11. So what we are going to be learning today is basically we are going to be learning in terms of how can we prove our cosine rule, right? Now, uh, let's start here. So basically, now in order for us to prove our cosine rule, we are going to start here. So we are going to, uh, if you can check here, they want us to prove that uh, a squared is equals to b squared plus c squared subtract 2bc cos a. So what is it that we can do? We can start by labeling our triangle uh, a. This is going to be our side A. This is going to be our side, uh, angle B. And this is going to be our angle what? Angle C. And we know that uh, from cosine rule, right? Uh, or Now, what we are going to have here, if this is your angle A, then the correspondence opposite side, uh, it is going to be what? It is going to be the abbreviated side A. And if this is your B, uh, the correspondent side, it is going to be what? It is going to be uh, B. And if this is angle C, the uh, correspondence opposite side, it is going to be your side C. All together, the small letter C. And from here now, what we are going to start with here is, for us to prove this, we are going to uh, construct. So what you are going to do, we are going to construct our height here, right? So we are going to construct our height so that we are having our two right angled triangle right so we are going to construct this height now let's say we label this height as our height what as our height h right and now after we've constructed then we therefore make this point here to be point what point d right and then we let let's say we let this side here uh let's use a different color let's say we let this side here to be our side x right and uh this side here this is going to be what so this is going to be side x right so now if let's say now we want to find out what is going to be our side dc already we know that if your ad here it is x so now your dc it is going to be ac right which is uh given by b subtract what subtract x so which means this side here from here uh, up until here, this is going to be side what? This is going to be same as B subtract your X. Isn't it so? Then that is what we are going to have. Now let's start then proving this. So what we are going to do now here, we are going to start here firstly. We are going to say if we look in triangle uh, BDC, right? So in triangle uh, BDC, right? So if you can look at, uh, triangle uh, BDC firstly and uh, what we are going to do here since we are having this as our right angled triangle BDC is our right angled triangle because of these perpendicular height which is constructed right so and therefore we are going to use uh, the theorem of Pythagoras to get uh, what is going to be the representation of a squared right so we are going to use uh, the theorem of Pythagoras, right? Uh, we are going to use Pyth theorem, right? We are going to use Pyth theorem. Uh, let's write that nicely. We are going to use Pyth theorem, right? This is theorem. Isn't it so? Then now, uh, to represent a, uh, our A. So look, our A, therefore, is going to be given by what? Our A, it is going to be given by A squared. And remember, your A is what? It is the hypotenuse side, right? So which means the A squared, it is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by H squared, which is this side here, and this side here, right? This is going to be H squared plus uh, now, what is the site DC? The site DC, we are given that this is same as B subtract X, what? Squared. Isn't it so? So, this is going to be that side. Now, if you can, you know, further continue with this. Now, can you see that your A squared, it is therefore going to be what? It is going to be your H squared plus. Now, if you expand this because there is a square here, what is it that you are going to have? So this is going to be same as b squared, right? And then when you multiply this, this is going to be 2b, uh, right? Then 2 multiplied by b and multiplied by negative. So this is going to be negative 2b, uh, what? bx. And what is going to be the last one? The last one, when you are having negative uh, x squared, is going to be same as what? Plus your x squared. 
are we to get that this is going to be the representation of a squared right now so we have sorted now the first triangle that we've uh, constructed right now let's see now so if we continue and we say now uh what we are looking at now we are looking in triangle uh let's say we are looking in triangle a b d now triangle a b d now let's try and get another nice color there for that triangle so we are looking in triangle a b d which means we are looking for a uh, this is A, B, D. So we are looking at this triangle. Remember this, if this is 90 degrees, this is also going to be what? Your 90 degrees. So if uh, for us to get the representation of what? Uh, of all the sides here, what we are going to use uh, now in this case, we are going to say, look, uh, for us to get this, we are going to say, look, this is going to be uh, here. You are going to have uh, C squared, which is your hypotenuse side, which is going to be what? Uh, H plus your X squared, right? Uh, for us to get the representation of that. Look, so we are going to say this is going to be same as your uh, C squared. So this is going to be same as your C squared. It is going to be same as uh, H squared plus your what? Your X squared. Isn't it so? Uh, then this is going to be uh, that that we are given, right? Now, uh, but now what is it that we can also now do? Look, now, if we want to make, uh, now to equate this equation. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the first representation of the equation and make this our equation one, right? Now, look, here, if you can check, we have the representation of H squared, right? So which means we can take this second triangle here and make H uh, squared to be the subject of the formula, right? So which means if we make that to be the subject of the formula, what are we going to have? So your H squared, it is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by C squared subtract X squared, right? Because you are going to take this X here and transpose it this side, right? So which means this is going to be your what now? This is going to be your equation number two. And after we have done that now, what we are going to do now, we are going to uh, substitute now equation uh, 1 into equation 2, rather, or rather equation 2 into equation 1, right? So we are going to uh, substitute uh, equation 2 into equation 1, right? Or 1 into 2. Uh, let's do 1 into 2. Are we together? Right now, that's what we are going to do. Uh, and then now what you are going to do here, we are going to say, look, you are still having A squared. Remember, we're going to take this one because remember, at the end of the day, we want to find what is going to be the representation of A squared. So we are going to say this is going to be your A squared, which is equals to what? It is equals to H squared, right? But now we already have the representation of H squared, which is what? Yes, it is the one that you are thinking of. It is your C squared subtract your X, what? Squared, right? Close bracket. So let's write that in bracket. Then we continue. Plus what? This is going to be now plus B squared subtract 2BX and plus what? Plus your X squared. Isn't it so? Now let's then continue from there. And now this is going to be, now when we expand this, this is going to be still the same as a squared is equals to. Now, if you take out all of this in bracket, this is going to be C squared subtract X squared plus your B squared subtract your 2 uh, BX plus your what? Plus your X squared. Now I want you to take, uh, to take note of something. Can you see that here you are having negative x and here you are having positive x, right? So which means this automatically, these two are going to cancel, right? So these two are going to cancel. So what is it that now we are going to have? Now we are going to have uh, a squared, uh, which is equals to c, c squared plus your b squared subtract your 2bx. Isn't it so? Now let's try and uh, write this in uh, the correct format. Now surely you can see that already you have now what? From here you have your B squared plus your C squared and you have your 2 uh, uh, have your two B uh, X in this case, right? So then what you are going to do now, if you can see here, 
uh, you can see Guti, from the formula itself. You have the B squared, you have the C squared, subtract your 2B, but what you are not having now, you don't have your C squared cos of A, right, from the formula, right? So which means now what we can do, we can try now and find what is going to be the expression of X, are we together? So we can find the expression of X because from what we are proving, we don't have the expression of X, right? So now what we are then going to do is we are going to come in triangle. Uh, we are going to come in triangle uh, A, B, D, in triangle A, uh, B, D. And say now what is going to be our representation of X, right? Now, because we have cos here, right? So which means we are going to use uh, the cos ratio, right? So if we use the cos ratio, remember cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So which means cos of A, it is going to be given by what? By X and what? And C, which means now let's do this. This is going to be your cos of angle A, it is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by the adjacent side. What is the adjacent side? It is X over uh, what is going to be the hypotenuse side. It's over C. I would to get uh, C, which is this one that we are having here. Then now let's make X the subject of the formula. So the value of X in this case, your X is going to be given by what? Uh, when you cross multiply, you are going to have C cos of what? cos of a are we together that's what you are going to have and then now from here now you have the expression of x which is what you are having here right so then now you can take the expression of x and replace it here so now this is going to be same as what a squared uh is equals to now we can rewrite this in the correct format or in alphabetical order so you start with b squared plus your c squared subtract now your 2b uh c cos of what cos of a are we together because the c cos of a represent what represent our unknown x or rather the value or the expression of x are we together so therefore now we have successfully proven your cosine rule